let's talk New Year's. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a really wonderful day. If you're watching this around New Year's, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's. And if you're watching this after New Year's, I hope you had a wonderful New Year's. <laughs> and if you're watching this on some random day during the year, then I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> Today's video, I want to talk more on our New Year's goals that we're going to be setting for the year 2022 and kind of go over some of the goals that we set last year and whether or not we kind of achieved them or if we didn't. I'm not going to kick myself in the butt for not achieving any goals. I know that last year was a very difficult year um, and by last year, it's still December 28th. Christmas just passed, that's why I'm not dressed up or anything like that today. Um, I'm kind of tired, so I'm also not feeling the greatest, so I apologize. But I'm not kicking myself in the butt, a lot has happened um, in my personal life, in my personal family, also just out in the world in general. So I just want to go over some of our goals and kind of have a video recording of myself, kind of... words Maddie <laughs> kind of holding myself accountable accountable holding myself accountable for the goals that I have set this year I didn't start doing this on my channel until last year but something that I do like to do is always keep a physical written list of things that I want to achieve within the year last year started my annual thing of posting an actual video like I said before to kind of keep myself accountable for the things that I want to achieve and it's always really nice just to kind of have a physical copy of you saying something that way throughout the year you can kind of just watch it back whenever you want and you kind of reminds you to kind of keep going on the things that you want to set and do so to get started today I want to go ahead and go over all of the things that we thought we were going to achieve last year a lot of them we unfortunately did not get to so our goals from last year if you remember that video i kind of separated all of my goals into sections i didn't do that this year no sections just goals um, but for the sake of referring to my goals last year i will talk about them in sections so my first section of goals were healthcare goals and there were a lot of mini ones I'm just gonna go over the main big kind of ideas and kind of goals that I had. So for my health goals, I really wanted to work out twice a week and engage in more physical activity. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. I probably worked out, oh, this is gonna be so sad, probably like six times this year. And they weren't even like six consecutive times. They were like four times sporadically. I got like weird energy in the middle of the night that I'm just like, I'm gonna work out at 12 a.m. Like, I don't really know. Um, but we did not accomplish this goal. And this goal is actually very important to me. So our next section of goals is social goals. So this includes anything with friends, families, or anything social network wise. It's just social. <laughs> um, and my big goals in here were that I wanted to at least reach 280 followers over on Instagram. We completed that goal as of right now when I'm recording, which again is December 28th. Um, I think we're sitting at 288 or something like that, which is actually amazing. I'm so like excited and hyped that we actually made that. Numbers don't really mean anything to me, but it's always really fun when new people want to either subscribe or people want to follow you because of the content that you're posting. And I post a lot of makeup and just a lot of cool things over on my Instagram. So it's really nice to see that people want to see more of it. And next, I wanted at least 100 followers over on YouTube here. Unfortunately, we didn't reach that. If anything, we actually lost a subscriber, but that's totally fine. Totally fine. If you would like to go ahead and subscribe, make sure to go ahead and do that and turn on all post notifications so that way you don't miss any videos that I post. By the way, 65% of you, and I can check, watch my videos and don't even subscribe anyway. Why not just subscribe? So that way you watch my videos right when they come out. Instead of having to look up my name, find my channel, then find a video, it's just right there in your subscriptions. How easy is that? Also, it's free. Completely free. Moving on for our worldly goals. Our, my worldly goals were pretty much just 
my end goals of what it is that I wanted to achieve in my life. So I have a few things on here, but the main, main thing that is on here that is probably the main reason why I push to do absolutely everything that I do is that I would really love to own my own island. Just something that is classified as an island. It doesn't have to be off in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Just, just an island somewhere, you know? That's what I want. It's the place that I feel the absolute most calm, most relaxed, and just happiest is when I'm on an island. So that is really my main goal. And that is never going to change. Moving over to our goals for the 2022 year. Now listen, I have a theory. 2022, first of all, 22 is my lucky number. 22 apparently is just a very lucky number in general. And I've had some weird things happen recently that involve the number 22 that have come up in my life. So I'm hoping and I'm thinking that this year coming up is going to be a great year. Not only because I am manifesting it because I've started to manifest things now. Not only am I manifesting that right now, I'm going to be able to put the time, effort, money, everything I need to actually make this year an amazing year. And I will hold myself accountable for that. So I took out all of the sub sections, as I said before, um, for my goals. So one, I would love to work out at least twice a week. I know we made this a goal last year and didn't achieve it, but my health and everything, coming from somebody who has a lot of health issues, um, a lot of things that I can't control. My health is very, very important to me. So I really want to nip myself in the bud and actually do that this year. I really do need to start working out. I have little to no muscle on myself. It is actually really affecting how it is that I function, how I walk, my hips pop a lot, my back actually really pops and cracks a lot, which is not the greatest. I'm really wanting to work out and strengthen my body in general. Moving on, I have, I want to reach at least 300 followers on Instagram and 100 to 120 on YouTube. I feel like those are, they're reachable goals. I feel like we can do it. Again, the numbers don't really mean anything to me, but it means so much when somebody subscribes or when somebody follows you because they genuinely like the content and the things that you are producing. I want to post here on YouTube at least 12 times, not including um, I want to finish my Twitch series that I started here on my channel. If you don't know about that, you can go over to my channel. I'll leave a little thing in one of these corners. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. Um, I'll leave the thing so that way um, you can go ahead and check out my first Twitch series that I'm doing. Um, I want to finish that this year. And on top of that, I want to post 12 times. I also don't want to limit um, myself and my content to just the body paint and special effects stuff that I really like to do. I'm somebody who really enjoys a lot of variety and things. And so I want to push and do different things on my channel, especially because I feel like my channel is very new, very much a baby right now, to where I have the option at this moment to try new things, try out a bunch of stuff and not really have to worry about accidentally or you know something happening to where it is going to break my channel or you know not worry about losing subscribers or losing a whole lot because I'm not at a point where it's you know it's not my job yet and it's not you know my profession yet to where those things don't matter I'm not getting paid by YouTube or anything so I feel like right now is a perfect time for me to be able to experiment with sports I love fashion room decor like all those different type of things I want to try out so I want to at least, you know, incorporate those, those, those types of videos this year. On top of my filming, I want to just be more creative. I'm a very creative person. That's something that I pride myself so hard on is that I have a huge imagination and I'm very, very creative. So I want to start drawing more, journaling more, and I have written down creative ideas. This book right here that you guys can definitely see is filled with a bunch of just creative ideas. It is filled with product ideas. I know that sounds weird because I'm not a big YouTuber or anything like that, but just wait. 
product ideas, um, just like paint ideas, just random things that, you know, I have these awesome cool ideas about um, that I wanted to put down in an actual book. That is what's in here. And this is like my pride and joy. I love this book. This book is like everything to me because it's literally my brain on paper. <laughs> so I wanted to start actually doing those things more so that way I can kind of bring out my creative side more. With school and everything like that that I've been going through, I feel like I haven't really had that opportunity. So this year is going to be a huge, huge creative year for myself. And I really hope I don't burn myself out. <laughs> Moving on, I have that I really want to establish a morning and night routine. I am awful with this. I don't have a morning or night routine and I feel like it is completely messing me up. I'm trying to take care of myself, obviously at night, putting myself to bed early. I stay up until like one in the morning, that's awful for you. I don't sleep until one, waking up until like one in the afternoon or 12 o'clock. My whole day is now wasted. I'm a night owl, I very much thrive at night. However, I need to put myself on a schedule so that way I'm bettering my actual health, especially with health issues. I just want to establish one and actually get myself on a routine so that way I feel like I'm accomplishing more, doing more, but also feeling healthier. I'm putting myself in on a schedule. That is what I desperately need this year. <laughs> Lastly, one thing I actually did forget to put on my list, but mentally I do remember this. Financially, I want to create another stream of income for myself. Finances and just money in general is such a huge worry to me. It's something that I stress about a lot. And so I want to create a second stream of income. Um, and for this year, I would love to make at least $1,000 in passive income. And that is just a small goal, whether or not it's selling something on the side, nothing awful or illegal. Let's just put that out there. I'm sorry, that was phrased really wrong. Um, but like selling products on the side of something, um, whether or not it's boards, I create these really cute welcome boards and stuff like that that I used to sell, um, or just anything. I've really been into candle making lately and I have no idea why. Um, it's just a very fascinating process to me. Um, but whether or not it's something like that, creating a product and selling it, or just finding something that actually generates a little bit more of an income, um, that is my absolute goal for this year. So now that all of my goals are out there and I have a video form of them, please, please, please keep me in check, guys. I'm asking you as a third party here to keep me in check and if I do something or if I'm not posting or whatever the case may be, hop over to my Instagram and make sure to yell at me and tell me that I need to post more. Tell me that I need to do more things because I am going to hold myself accountable, but if you would hold me accountable as well, then that would be amazing. The more the merrier, you know? Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to watch any of my other videos, go ahead and check out my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Again, it's free. Also, if you want to go ahead and follow me on all my other socials, you'll find a link of them down in the description. Check everything out down there, okay? Alright, well, I hope you guys had an amazing day. And I hope you guys stick around and watch my channel really grow, alright? Love you guys. Bye.